when I woke up, I was so stressed out. My heart was like proper, like thumping in my chest. Like when I woke up, it felt like I was having a heart attack. I'm not trying to be dramatic. I'm just, I'm just trying to describe it for you. I didn't sleep very well that night at all. I think I went to sleep at like one, but then my body decided to wake up at six because I was hoping that maybe I would sleep in until like 12 or, or something really late like that but I think my body's still a bit jet lagged so it just woke up at like 6 so I didn't get much sleep which didn't help later on down the day as I said in the last video I tried meditating uh, yesterday um, and consequently I tried to meditate again today so first thing when I woke up I, I meditated I was then but because I was so stressed out and I kind of felt that this is not good. I kind of tried stretching as well. So after I meditated, I stretched. I was this guy, 20 minute follow along stretch routine. So I was just stretching it out just as a way to kind of like calm myself down and just kind of like relax. Also felt that it would be a good idea to take a walk as well to like get outside, get moving and get sunlight. So I thought that'd be good. That, that would be a good thing on top of a good thing, right? Like if I'm feeling this bad, I need to unite all my good fit, all the good practices and habits that I do together. So I went on a walk and then I had a decaf tea at home um, with a breakfast. I tried to have a full breakfast, you know, something that will fill me up and something protein and fat heavy. And I had a decaf tea. I didn't want to aggravate anything by like drinking caffeine um, on this occasion. So I kind of put on the TV and I drank it and I had my breakfast and then I made my way into uni after writing three things that I'm grateful for. Uh, it's a new practice I'm gonna try and integrate into my journaling as well. So like I'll journal, but just on top of journaling, I'll write like three things that I'm grateful for. Anyway, I went on the train. I was reading on the train. I was reading how um, the body keeps the score, which was my new book. I kind of, today's a leg day. Uh, leg days are tough, but so am I. So I'm speaking to a lot more people. The issue of me like being socially anxious is tied into this idea of overthinking so i think if i can so solve the overthinking problem the kind of like social anxiety will be a lot better but anyways I, i've been speaking to a lot more people like um like when i went in the gym like i, I nodded at a few people it's nice i've been like um talking to people trying to be more friendly trying to be more social and it is it is generally gen oh my god generally you know what i'm trying to say right it is um quite a nice thing after i done a leg day i went on a little bit of a walk but then I was like, I was really hungry and I didn't really want to feel in the way I am and not being at 100%. I, don't, I didn't really want to push myself. So, and I still wanted to do my writing as well. So what I done was, is when I went on a walk, I went to Green Pepper and got um, some food, which was nice for £4.50. Uh, under £5, you got to pay cash. But, uh, but yeah, I had one, one chicken, one chicken and, and four four wings with um chips and a drink but he gave me he gave me another piece of chicken because they were he said it, it was quite small like the chicken pieces were quite small so he gave me two pieces which was really nice so then after feeling like a bit more like refueled and refreshed and not re not sorry i'm getting distracted um not refueled and just feeling more full and not like you know not hungry I went to the cafe at uni and i just got a coffee i got a flat white this time not a not a latte i thought like i change it up a bit you know spice things up um and i just worked on my project i only worked on it for i think 45 minutes or half an hour as opposed to an hour um i wasn't as just not motivated but i wasn't yeah i wasn't as motivated obviously when you feel down it kind of like affects everything kind of affects your energy and your motivation and and just everything kind of suffers but it's okay i'm working on it and after i done my like my project working that i felt a lot better the whole like uh mindfulness stuff like it's crazy because i know what i know like some of the stuff that i'm thinking like is is really bad so i'll just be walking and then like some random thought will pop into my mind or like some bad memory will like come into my mind and like but i'll just i i, I will just entertain it and it will be there so i'll just be walking in like some random place and then like some bad thought will pop into my mind and i'll just be thinking about it and then instead of being in that place like i'm just in that bad thought and that's bad because like i'm always doing that if that makes sense like whether i'm walking whether i'm just sitting down whether i'm in the gym like i'm just always thinking something bad and i think i think that's the problem but the thing is it's so hard as well it's so hard to like i'm aware of it now but it's so hard to kind of like fight it if that makes sense it's so hard to 
it's 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 hard to not just oh, sorry i'm fumbling over my words so please forgive me but it's hard to not allow yourself to go on autopilot and let those thoughts take over it's hard to be proactive and 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 kind of like stir your own ship rather than just letting your thoughts do it it's, it's actually a lot harder than it seems so but i am working on it and you know every every step is like a step forward to something better and think of it as a good thing just think of like you know if if this is a challenge then it's a challenge but if we can overcome this challenge then imagine the person you're going to be at the end of it maybe there's things that he can do that you can't do now and if there's things that a future version of you can do then the future is a good thing right so just think of it like that i also forgot to mention that because it's tuesday today i went boxing in the afternoon i decided to stay at uni after i'd kind of like finished working in the cafe because it was like it wasn't late but it was like by the time i go home and come back i won't have time to do anything anyway so there's no point so i kind of just like relaxed in university i actually applied for a job at i i applied for a job at harold's it said luxury bookseller at harold's so that sounded pretty cool that sounded like something i'd like to do so i applied for that it took like forever because like it's not just on indeed you have to do it on their website so that kind of took forever i stayed at university just applying jobs and just kind of like relaxing and maybe nodding at a few people here and there um, i spoke to some guy i i asked i asked a pokemon linkedin so boxing i was oh i called my friend today which was really nice and um, it was really nice it made me feel a lot as much you know like journaling meditating like all of these things are good but something you, um, i need to do just in my personal life is i think i need to try and talk to people a bit more oh my god it's so hard to artic articulate it and i don't want this video to be too long like talk to people who oh my god basically look um I have a friend, he's a great friend. I've known him for a long time and we haven't spoken in a while. So I, whilst I was waiting for boxing, I called him and I felt a lot better. I felt a lot happier, um, which was a good thing. So I think, I think that's something I need to try and do. I think I try and, I have to try and be a bit more, like I need to make time for motives. Motives, sorry. Um, if you don't understand, motives is like going out with friends. Um, sometimes, not sometimes, but I think, like I love doing, I love going gym, I love, uh going to cafes and just getting on with my own work and doing my routine but i think i need to be proactive in setting more time more time not like completely forsake what i'm doing but just like more time for like socials and and like talking to people and things like that i think that's something i need to work on i then went into boxing i was talking to him about whether or not i should go boxing because as i told you I like i was completely sleep deprived and i was very stressed but then i was thinking maybe boxing is a good thing because if i just go home now because literally the whole day guys aren't like i'm just stressed out like i tried to calm myself down i tried breathing i tried like that i tried like the andrew huberman like two breaths in one breath out so I, I tried all of that but i was not calming down um i was i was aware of my thoughts but my mind kept attacking me so i thought maybe if i go boxing maybe it's not a bad thing if i just go home now i'm just gonna be stressing so i went into boxing um, sorry i didn't get much chance to like film um i'm a bit shy to kind of just like stick my camera in um i was so tired though um i think at one point i closed my eyes and the coach looked at me and he was like this guy's sleeping i hope i didn't like upset him not upset him but i hope that didn't come across as disrespectful that that was also another thought i had like he was like he looked at me and he was like this guy's sleeping i wasn't sleeping i was just like so tired um exhausted just in every single way and then in my mind i was thinking like oh does he like does he like uh, think i'm being disrespectful and stuff even though like, you know but it like the point is it's not about what actually happened it's, it's about what's happening inside my head so i have to try and regulate that better it's really good i'm really glad i went because this is i, I work so hard in the boxing gym that i kind of just like didn't have time to think about getting stressed if that makes sense like because all my energy because like i do gym and stuff like that but gym doesn't i think uh, i think gym doesn't take as much energy out of me as like boxing does like when you're doing in a class and when the coach says go you have to go and like when everyone's standing up you don't want to like start you don't want to sit down and it's a different type of exercise as well and um obviously i think people who've been going gym so long um and been going gym like every day like you kind of like don't exert yourself like a hundred percent when you go to the gym but obviously at boxing it was different and i was so bloody tired i was so fatigued but it kind of took my mind off everything and i was more relaxed in in a way um i hope that makes sense 
Um, sorry, a lot happened in this day and I, I feel like there was a lot to explain and I didn't explain it all properly, but I don't want the video to be too long. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching.